What's up everyone, Technicer. So if you follow my last video, we downgraded our PSB to 3.60. Or if you went with the 3.65 method, then I'm sorry, but this video is not for you. This video is for the people that downgraded to 3.60. So we're going to be installing Henkaku, and I mean the old school classic Henkaku. The first uh, custom firmware for the PS Vita, and it's actually the easiest to install. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So using the 3.60 method, this actually doesn't require a computer at all. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go disable flight mode and you're going to need to connect to a Wi-Fi. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. After you connect it to the Wi-Fi, go ahead and go down to system. Go to auto start settings and make sure that download update file for system software will always be unchecked. Go ahead and close it up. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the internet browser. So now, as you're in the address bar, um, what you're going to want to type in is H. And I, I will put this in the description so it don't work. So it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash. Kaku. Oh god. <laughs> Henkaku. I pressed the uh... Yeah, it was like, cannot display the page, what are you doing? <laughs> We're gonna type in http colon slash slash Henkaku dot x y z so it's H-E-N-K-A-K-U dot X-Y-Z. Very weird website, yes. And then once you go into the website, all you do is press install. And you are about to void the warranty on your device. Yes, we are. <laughs> and then go ahead to install again. And then this error message is going to pop up. So you're going to wait until that thing is done loading. And then press OK. And then you're gonna see your PS Vita do something very cool. <laughs> what it's doing right now is installing the classic cock on your on your PS Vita. So we're gonna go ahead and go into settings and go open it up. And now you have Hinkaku settings. So enable unsafe homebrew, yes. Now it's weird because usually it installs a, uh, what's it called? It installs an application called Molecular Shell on your PS Vita. So if that's the case, if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna show you what to do right now. So when you do install that, it's supposed to install this thing called Molecular Shell on your PS Vita. If it doesn't do that, which it's actually going to happen for many of you. The reason why is because we had a pre-existing tie hand because we just downgraded our PS Vita, so it's not going to pop up. You actually need to catch what it says when it does install. And I'm going to show you right now. So again, reboot your PS Vita, turn it back on. Go into the www. <laughs> I mean, to the internet browser, and we're gonna go back into this and press the R button when it's in this menu. It's going to reinstall everything and rewrite your tie-in config and everything. So this is the way that you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Then it's going to close up. So after you do this, you'll see a new application called Molecular Show. Of course, you can't use it yet. We're going to go into the settings, go into the Encoctor settings. Then we're going to enable unsafe homebrew. And spoof version again will be 3.73. Okay. 
So at this point in time, your PS Vita is on temporary custom firmware. If you want to know what molecular shell is, it's actually going to be the old school version of Vita shell. So if we checked in here, it's going to look just like Vita shell. Except this version of Vita Show, Molecular Show, is the old school version. So you actually have um, you have you have to transfer data through an FTP server, and I will show you how to do all this in a future video, which is happening right after this one. But um, you're basically going to reinstall um, Vita Show back onto your PSP or PS Vita, and we're going to be continuing on after that. So at this point in time, your PS Vita is on. Um, temporary custom firmware just like H Encore. So if you were to power off your PS Vita, once you reboot it back on, you have to open up Electric Shell and then go to install and it's going to reinstall a pack for you. And then at that important time, you can do whatever you want after that. But do me a favor and go into Electric Shell because I'm, <laughs> I have a strong feeling it popped back up again. So you see this TIE folder in the UX0, again, go ahead and delete that bad boy. <laughs> it's probably going to be created every single time. So at this point in time, you are on temporary custom firmware um, for 3.60 anyway. Like I said, this will only work on PS Vitas that are on 3.60. At this point in time, this video is done. I've shown you how to install custom firmware on a PS Vita running 3.60. And I hope you all enjoyed it. In the next video, I will be teaching you how to install permanent custom firmware, which is Enzo. So again, the method is the same. And well, Enzo will only work on uh, 3.65 and 3.60 custom firmware or PSV firmwares. So the method is the same, but the actual Enzo application is different for both um, PSV. So I'll show you all that in the next video, but this point in time this PSV is on custom firmware and we are good to go after that so thank you all for watching i'll see you on the next one